Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Today, I'm going to go over the Safe Life 2-inch war belt for you. This thing's pretty cool, been running it for a little while. Let's get into it. So before we go into the belt, if you like this sort of content, hit that like, share, subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want more videos from me. You can support the channel a lot of ways. Becoming a member of the channel helps out a ton. Sharing videos is the easiest way to support the channel so share the videos leave a comment down below it all helps with the channel just so you know safe life did send me this belt i have no other affiliation with them i gain no monetary value from sharing this with you or from my review from it so just understand that i do not have a bias towards this even though safe life sent it to me so let's get into the belt. Now this belt is a two-piece design. That seemed like it was gonna look way cooler in my mind. So it is the inner loop side of Velcro belt, all multicam in this case, and the hook outer Velcro for the outer war belt. So the inner belt is fairly stiff, but I wouldn't call it EDC stiff. Like it is a two inch belt, so you would have to have two inch uh, belt clips for your holster anyway. But um, it is not quite that stiffness that I like to see in a carry belt. Although it is really, really good at holding up your pants. Nonetheless, it's extremely well made. I've had this thing for a few months. I'm not seeing any frays or damage to the belt. I have worn this on and off as a just a belt just to see how it would do. It worked fine, but again, if you're carrying with it, you would have to have two inch belt clips. But as far as comfort and mobility, uh, and of course holding your pants up, which is pretty important it works extremely well now it has a very heavy duty nylon inner this is the side that uh, faces your body and then the hook or the loop side outer that faces away from your body there's stitching all the way down through the center of it and the edges you can see the stitching here most likely and it is put together extremely well. Now the outer belt here, these type of these types of belts are not anything new, although Safe Life was one of the earlier adopters to this style of belt. They've been doing it for a very long time. This is not at all a new product. Um, so you're probably familiar with Safe Life uh, anyway. So we have the outer belt, which has a good heavy cobra buckle good heavy cobra buckle on it and this is a real cobra buckle not uh, that fake chinese crap the hook side of velcro on the inside with really good heavy duty stitching and then after two more layers of nylon you have the molly or pals webbing whatever you want to call it but it is the half molly top and bottom with a full inch in between making a full two inch belt so the way i have this set up is much like i set up all my war belts uh, although some of the pouches may differ it's all set up with the same um with mags and all that stuff in the same place so you start with the female side of the of the cobra buckle a little bit of molly i have an s beaner for my gloves a set of kiwi pouches uh dump pouch med pouch on over to the Guardian Warrior Solutions Bang Hanger and Safari Land holster. And then on out to a very heavy uh, section of nylon uh, webbing material. Now I might as well address this real quick. No, I do not have my timestamp open because rolling around on the desert floor ruins the Velcro when it's open. So I'll take the gamble. You do you. Now being a two inch design versus a one and three quarter design like the rest of my belts are, I think it's a little bit more rigid top to bottom. I think it's, I think it holds, uh, structurally I think it holds the weight on the waist a little bit better. 
uh, a little bit more vertical, so to speak. Uh, I think that it takes some of the load off of your hips versus uh, a, a narrower belt. However, just so you know, being a two inch design, you may or may not have some issues getting that two inch inner belt through your belt loops. Like these jeans I have on now, it barely fits. Um, a couple of my different multicam pants, they're tight to loose. It, does, you know, it just depends on the pant I'm wearing. So just understand that at a two inch belt, that you may or may not have some issues with how tight the inner belt is in your belt loops. However, like I said, this two inch, this two inch design, I think lends toward things staying a little bit more vertical on your body, a little bit better load bearing capacity. Now with that said, the two mate together very, very well. I never have the belt coming loose from the Velcro. I never have the belt come, the outer belt coming loose from the Velcro. And it's pretty rowdy getting the Velcro off. Velcro. The magical thing given to us by aliens. Something very satisfying about that. Oh, hello. So Safe Life does offer these in various colors. I have mine in Multicam. They have tans and blacks, uh, and I think an OD green. You have to look at it. Um, I believe it's OD, Coyote, black, and Multicam. I believe those are the colors that come in. So there's plenty of variety for you. They're very well made. Safe Life's been around for a very long time. Uh, so as far as the quality of this belt, it's a high quality belt. It's, uh, 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 again, I've been running it for a few months now. No frays, no snags. Uh, I haven't had any of these uh, Molly loops come loose or anything like that. So uh, I think it's a high quality belt with a bunch of options. The sizing seems to be correct, uh, which is some, some belt companies have an issue with that. The sizing on this, if what they say on the website is what you think you need that's probably it you don't need to go like a size up or anything like that uh, i've found that this is uh exactly what i it fits exactly how i expected it to fit when i told them my pant size and i was looking at the website all right i'd like to thank safe life defense for sending this out to me again i don't have any other monetary affiliation with them i don't get a percentage i don't get any kickbacks they sent me this they wanted me to review it and i've given you my honest review of it so again thank you for sending this out uh if you checked the pinned comment there may be a way to find safe life defense down there while you're down there leave a comment of your own it helps out the channel and don't forget to hit like share and subscribe sharing is the easiest way and best way to get the videos out there to help me grow the channel and to get this sort of content in front of people that may never see it because youtube doesn't like gun content and hides it from people all right everybody thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later